Is that necessary? Please <laughs> back to watch The Good Place, season three, episode three, The Snow Plow. We got Nikki Runs and Surge on what? the couch. Who's voice? I don't know. Just... That sounds like someone very We've familiar. got, we've got, I don't know, Allie G. I don't know who it is. A little peaky No, it's peaky No, keep going, keep more. going. Yo, we've got loads of content for you coming your way. Patreon, Instagram, all the social medias you want to be official normie you know what to do get your early access on cuts and what no i dropped off there at the end but yeah. you sound like someone i don't know it's literally uh, what's, the his, Ali G? Plays, what's his name bane in peaky blinders no that's uh, tommy shelby's more bro more, thomas shelby not thomas right, shelby <laughs> oh there's the guy who has a dog is shot on the beach oh that's alfie man that's why tommy don't get this fucking like, dog man like, that's alfie no, you're no. so good at voices <laughs> oh my god i love it Hey guys, Michael and Janet escaped to Earth. They're How? gonna be humans now. But they also have the keys to get back in a way. They have the frog keys. Oh, they do have the frog keys. They do. Hey, the runner keys. Hey, that's me. Because runner means frog in Espanol. Spanish in another language too, I forgot. It's really funny. Really? Yeah, apparently. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know what to expect from here. Like, they really, I mean, shit, man. So Michael said that, like, Chidi and um, Eleanor, Tahani, and Jason are the most important things to him in the universe. universe. So, like, I really don't know where this is going to go from here kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, now you really don't have, like, God or to judge or anybody on your side. And now you're like, what's going to happen when they die? Y'all going to come back to this place and face the music anyway. Will the judge even fairly... Condemn. Condemn or, you know, uh, send him to the good place? It's the same thing that Chidi was worried about. Michael should be worried about. He's finagling with the... The test here. I mean, yeah, technically he's pushing them into the right way. So is it their real conscious that they would? I don't know. Yeah. Mm, maybe Janet and Michael sh- will be willing to throw away their lives if the four get to go free and they, no, them two that. get to be punished. Michael did say they're the most important things to oh, him. Oh, in the universe. the universe. We did skip over that in discussion. That was yeah. a big moment for Michael. Yeah, it was. I can't believe he said that. He said these are the four most important things to me in the universe. And he was a mm-hmm. demon too. And he that is. is super cute because we support this team a lot. Yes. yes. And then off camera, do you know what Michael said to Trevor? He said that this is not a market substitute for The Good Place. Please support the official release on Netflix. And we are about to jump in. Anything else left to say? No, man. Just follow us on TikTok, man. I did that stuff in, go to in, TikTok. in my voice. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, we'll, TikTok. I told you guys go to TikTok. That's all I'm asking. Just go to our TikTok. Whose voice is... I we just know. hit 10.8K so today. Damn, on TikTok? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have to film a talk. 10K? 10.8. Oh! We should, we're doing TikTok after Is this. anyone calling it a talk yet? No, only no, you. I did, Stop Indian, I did an Indian one that you need to learn. We can learn it. Stop trying to make it a thing. It's not a thing. A talk is going to be a thing. If you're like, like, yeah, you want to film a talk, bro? No. Bro, never, fuck, ever fuck again. God, talk, bro. This is why you're in your fucking deathbed. Because Brilliant. you talk, talk like this. Damn! <laughs> a fucking murder. <laughs> deathbed. Did you record it? Did you re- yeah, yeah. That was an insane thing for yeah, us. Yeah, kind of. Oh. Yeah, immediately come after you. You can pick it up. I have a question for you. Are you out of your damn mind? Oh yeah, that was so funny. Look at She's it from like, my point of view. I have never been this angry. Saving the souls of these four humans is more important. So, bro, at this point they're just four humans, aren't they? Oh, like, try and come back here. I think you're breaking up. That's impossible. It's a magical key, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> office. We have to keep the group intact and monitor their ethical progress. How do we do that? <laughs> Not sure. I did install cameras and microphones, so at least we can keep our eye on them. Oh. oh no. Not a great start. Eleanor farted and then she blamed it on her chair. That's gonna cost her at least a few points. That's just three points. Oh, oh now we got mana for our farts, guys. Yeah, run now. I know I don't fart though, I will in mana. I never have. Nine here. She just said she don't fart. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not just Your chair smells bad. I know. Your chair smells bad. What did you eat? What did you eat for lunch? <laughs> Dude, at least like you yeah, girls know. The funding from the neuroscience department came through. Oh. And you blew it all on cupcakes? Exactly what I would have done. <laughs> Respect. Elena? Uh, I'm good. I try to avoid pointless group activities. Counterpoint? 
These are delicious free cupcakes. Get over yourself and eat one. Yeah. Fine. Oh, you guys ah, are nice. Pizza. See, with the right people, you can break out of your mold. Because otherwise, Trevor. that is the same old Eleanor. Jaguars rule! <laughs> so crates. Hey, Teach. Any idea where I can get a part-time gig? If Eleanor has to get a job, she'll miss class, and that'll slow down her progress. Steal some money for her. Give her a job? It feels like cheating. Think of us as a snowplow. Clearing a path. Y'all gonna okay. go to the bad place for this. So they're already at the lab. They're yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're gonna. He, he's gonna get marbleized. One scratch off lottery ticket, please. Oh, she's gonna get marbleized, oh, and he's gonna get Keep going. blasted in the particles Keep of the going. sun. Keep going. Does she know? These tickets were printed before we got down here. I know which ones are the winners. Hello. Oh, nice. Because she knows all the information oh, yeah. of the universe, so she has the last thing saved. The woman that you think she, is your she aunt needs to get this out. Your mom. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh no! This morning, <clears throat> I found a lottery ticket on the ground outside my apartment. I scratched it off, and I won eighteen thousand okay. dollars. Okay, just eighteen. Wow. That's amazing. Better luck next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes. Sorry, from context, I see that is actually a large. <laughs> oh my god. God damn, Tahani, how much are you worth, girl? Well, that's how much her heels or purse cost. Damn. Jason? That's pretty good. You enjoy that line? No. <laughs> I have to watch the Jaguar games alone on my computer at like 3 in the morning on Mondays. It's so annoying. Everything here is in a, I don't know how to describe it, like a different <laughs> zone of <laughs> time. <laughs> A different clock land. <laughs> <laughs> I with you, Jason. I enjoy American football. I actually dated a player once. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He wasn't my type, so I said him. Oh my god, Tom Brady. Tom Brady, sure. But if you want to watch with me, you have to learn my Jaguars cheer. It goes, let's go Jags, kick their ass. I shall do my best. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so See you too. That's what makes it so funny. Why do you want to watch football with Jason? I don't really, but I am mad horny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Well, no adjustments, babe. <laughs> Tahani getting together with Jason, even no, casually, could Jan's tear the group apart. Why would it tear the group apart, though? Let's find Tahani a loving, supportive companion. Great idea. I wish someone were controlling my life like this. I wouldn't be so shit. That's $18,000. <laughs> the love of your life just comes walking in. I know. <gasps> Tahani. Oh, he's fucking hot. Huh? Larry Hemsworth? My the last episode was how the yeah. Hemsworths were lame. But this isn't a Hemsworth Hemsworth, is it? I, I mean, they are from Australia. Of course I remember you. Shoulders. I know, I just never expect anyone to remember me. I'm sure you're busy, you probably don't want to talk to me. I'm sorry, I'm so dull and I'm ugly. I'm oh my what? God. What the heck? Larry, please. It's lovely No, I would to let him go, you. girl. Sit down. Let's catch up. Yeah. Hello, Chris and Liam and Luke. I, I won't mention him Oh, he again. is the young. He, he's oh, the less Hemsworth. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get along or we're having Where celebrity you? siblings. Your ex-wife, Samantha, still loves I love her. She's afraid to call. You must show her your poetry. Go to her. <laughs> Go to her. <laughs> oh my god, he's like a logging psychic. <laughs> and she's using it to just scare people off and do things. And Jason. No, she's getting off Imagine on it. Imagine that. To be fair, I have. Actually, I was with an ex-boyfriend. I do feel bad, though. Yeah, I completely so. forgot about watching the game with Jason. Homies, guess what? <gasps> oh, we're he's creeping me out. Yeah, so wild looking. It. Me and two other dudes just watched the Jags annihilate the Texans. I'm completely wasted. I gotta go barf one last time, and then I'll be ready to learn philosophy. I would not be ready to learn philosophy. Another three months? Oh, six, so a year later. Damn. You're not so bad. <laughs> oh, I mean, literally every aspect of our lives has improved. <laughs> I don't know about I always used to call Luke and Liam lesser Hemsworths when they were on like Westworld and there was an even bottom wall. None of the Hemsworths are less, by the way. You all are great people. Last night, Larry Hemsworth proposed <gasps> to me and we're moving back to London to begin planning the wedding. Oh no, y'all fucked up. No, y'all oh, fucked up. No. So stop immediately. So don't give Blake Bertels to Jason. Blake Bertels, you have to stop this wedding. You better break them up. Jason, wow. Do you, is it that is that necessary? Come as you are. I guess all these people came as they were. <laughs> 
to honey. You found this place on Airbnb? Yeah, places oh, like no. that exist. It's Airbnb. H-E-I-R. It's an app for airs and heiresses where we swap mansions, private islands, limp hangers, that sort of thing. Sorry, I just laughed. That's just great. Legendary study group. Honey looks very tan. I'm sorry it's taken me so long nice. to build up the courage to meet you. I can't believe she wants to marry me. A dumb old pediatric surgeon who barely has an eight pack. Oh my god! <laughs> Did Miley Cyrus write the song Wrecking Ball about Chris's brother Liam? Wonderful. More questions about my talented brothers? You're talented. There's a single day when I'm the special one. Fixing baby spines is just as valuable as acting. Oh my, it's not more. more. <laughs> yeah, definitely more. He's gotta go. We have to isolate Larry and convince him that he needs to stay in Australia. Vegemite canapé? Ew, ew. Oh, Veggie. Oh, Mummy was right. Yeah, it's actually good if you put it lightly on toast. You move into England. He's good with the accents. Yeah. Fly out tomorrow. Flaunt it. Stay here in Sydney. It's such a dynamic international city that you've only seen 4.8% of. Oh. Probably. You aren't real caterers, are you? Uh, uh, My mother hired. Who do you work for? Australian Inquirer? <laughs> you just want us to stay here so you can keep mocking me. The hideous shame of the Hemsworth. <laughs> Bro! To honey sees through all that. And I can't wait until we move far away from the likes of you and I can finally take her last name. Oh! <laughs> he wants to change his last okay, name, of course. I wonder if he. He seems like a really cool guy in real life oh, to, yeah. even, to even he do this look role. He doesn't like the brothers, though. No, he doesn't. Actually, to honey's announcement made us take stock. Uh, you know, Simone and I need time to analyze Maybe he's not data, real. apply for grants. We've kind of hit a natural stopping point. Yeah, and the next step would be to repeat the experiment with new subjects, you know, <gasps> compare results. Wait, <coughs> what are you saying? That the study's over? No, 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 we're just taking a break for a year or so. And I'm sure you're all anxious to get back home. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff to get back oh, to in no. Phoenix. Oh no. Oh no. This is what happened. Y'all shouldn't have finagled, man. I'll deal with Eleanor. I, I, I know it's risky, but I don't think she'll recognize me. Shrimp. Always. Uh, How do you know how's this not gonna trigger her memory? I was finally starting to figure things out. Now I have to. Yeah, did he talk about the bar? Start over from yeah. scratch. Feeling like your little team is the last thing standing between you and oblivion. Oh my god. At any moment, the universe could fold up around you and. You're a caterer, right? It's a very competitive industry. <laughs> it means a lot to everyone else. You're all just probably waiting for someone to say it out loud. Yeah, just say it out loud and then she won't want to move. I think he said that last time too. I never would have reconnected with Larry. So, celebrate our group. There's no way he's a real Hemsworth. I was about to ask, do you think he's real? No. There's only three of them, right? Yeah. I think. The funny thing is, the younger, the youngest one actually made a TikTok about how he's the most unrecognized Hemsworth. Oh, God. Mm. I get that we all have meaningful lives outside this study. Well, to Hani and Chidi do, Jason and I are straight trash. <laughs> I know that what we're doing is important, and I'm not ready to stop. Let's all stay here and keep it going. Damn. <coughs> what do you say? Ballsy oh, moves. Okay. Okay. So glad that this study meant that much to you. Oh. But. But realistically. That's cool. I get it. No, you don't need to say it. I I got it. That's all she wrote. I hope you're not mad. Don't put your no, hand in the cake. I'm not mad. I don't need you guys. I feel like she's you don't take need a me. And chunk. since you don't need me, I'm just gonna take the me out of this cake. Oh no. I knew it. No. Oh. Oh. I don't know. Please. Oh, sorry. The deed is done. Uh, farewell to you, my liege. You S A. You S A. That didn't go well at all. It's <laughs> not good. Call the cab. Like 20 minutes ago, it says it's. She was about to line with her. <laughs> then I saw my friend hiding behind a plant and I got concerned. Then my friend lashed out at me again, so I'm gonna take off and uh, leave her here with dirty leaves in her hair. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. I'm glad she reiterated calling her. Yeah. Her friend. Oh. <sighs> Can you help me? Why did I do that? As humans evolved, the first big problem we had to overcome was me versus us. The next problem to overcome was us versus them, trying to see other groups different from ours as equals. That's interesting. Us versus them and me yeah, versus- Yeah, I mean, this is Earth, us. Yeah. Why don't you take my cat? Brady Bunch is basically the first group that became part of your self-identity oh, and now idea, that's actually. breaking up. You're feeling this 
new kind of loss. And you're scared of going back to being alone. I think me needs to go apologize to us. And thank you. Aww. The point is, Damn, luckily for Simone being up. there. I'm sorry that I freaked out. Just really gonna miss you guys. We're gonna miss you too. Here's an idea. What if we all agree to a yearly... Damn, no, what the hell? The Stop down. this, Michael. Summer, Stop it immediately. We should all meet up in Jacksonville. My house is right on the water. It didn't used to be, but the whole city is a swamp and it's sinking into the ocean. Woo, strong pitch, bud. Next year in Jacksonville. Yeah. Okay, I think I figured out a plan where they stay in Australia and only five random yeah, bystanders get Yeah, somebody else get playing Larry Hemsworth. It's called arson. It's time to park the snowplow and trust that the humans will make progress on their own. We're gonna get a one-year time skip. Yeah, buddy. So we're gonna see what they're doing after one year, too. I'm glad. I'm excited. I open the door to the afterlife. No! You keep a lookout while I break into the judge's chamber <clears throat> and reset the timeline on Earth. Then we do it all over again, but correctly. No, we won't wait we're doing all like we're doing the good place, we'll bad place. Right away. No. Just leave it! No more resetting, bro. No more. Okay. No! No! This is like the worst idea. They're about to set up... Uh, it's gonna be more than one Stop. thing. It's gonna be more than one thing they're gonna reset. Oh, hey guys, what are you doing down here? Uh, oh shit! Uh, now they gotta learn about all that happened. I mean, uh, you're seeing some otherworldly door to another dimension. Oh, uh, you cannot. No. Now they have to reset it. Yeah, they have to. No, they don't have to reset it. Now they can just explain what's actually going on here. That this was y'all's second chance, and you can't split up. You have to stick together. But now it's tainting the pool, cause like you're you're telling them what's happening. I mean, I'm assuming they're gonna have to know what's happening. They can't just explain this away without telling the truth, right? Uh, I think they're gonna have to reset everything now officially. I don't, nah, I think we're done with the resets. I feel like as the, sh the show shouldn't do any more resets, and like. Damn, now, but then like what? I feel like after that, there's definitely a reset that we're looking at. Maybe. You don't think so? No. I mean, I just feel like that's so hard to explain a human concept to uh, them. That they were dead, now they're alive, and they have to get all together. They well, have to you could just get be points. Like, well, Chidi, don't you remember me being the librarian? And then I came to you again? Oh and Ellen, my God. I was the bartender that but initially like told you to come that's like a cheat now, so when they find out the, like, the real reason who they are and everything, that's going to be a cheat. They're going to live their lives to be good. They're never... Yeah. Like, that's just a cheat. Like, that's, yeah. not, like, that's not because they were good. It's just that, like... You it know already what I mean? was kind of a cheat, man. But yeah, but now it was a cheat for sure. Like yeah. after they put him on Earth, they shouldn't have meddled. They should have like, just now it's more of a cheat because like they they're not gonna act naturally out of their goodness of their heart. They're gonna act because they know the truth. It depends on if you're a follower of Kant or a subscriber to the philosophy you of moral keep particularism. You've been saying that every day. You've been saying that every I'm day. I'm just saying the philosophy of moral particularism so me versus, versus Kant. us and us me versus them. I, I like that. I did too. I really like that. I think at the end they were also hinting as Michael has it. Michael has the me versus us. Yeah. But he's more selfish on the me part because he wants it all to work his way. Yes. Versus yes. them as a group. Let them go. Disperse. I think after a year of learning ethics, we should be good. Right? Like, they should be good. Yeah. I think so. Other yeah. than the little no. temper tantrum that they... But, like, you can't always be... Like, you can't always be... Yeah, you can't always be perfect. You There's can't. No There's no yeah. fucking way. There's no way. There's always something. I mean, don't even. At... Don't you even. Don't you even right now. <laughs> I don't want to fucking hear it from your mouth. Look at me. <laughs> don't you even. Because I knew that was coming. I'm just saying. Mm. Even a little thing is like, oh, I hit, like, a, killed a spider. You're going to hell. That's yeah. already a sin. Hiding You're a killing, fart. Hiding a fart. I know y'all have hid like a dozen at least in your lifetime, right? Not like, here at the office. Fart, but you hid farts. Oh yeah, like, probably. Girl, girls yeah. Of hiding yeah, but not farts. in here. You, you and Chris have farted in here so much. I know how lingers house. We never smells. had it. <gasps> yeah, you guys don't hide. That's true. I mean, yeah, yeah no, maybe I, yeah, I'm sure I No, have. but you're right, not saying please, not holding a door open, not tipping 20%. Well, some things that we saw. All those like, are points. Yeah. There's no way you can be perfect, so. Do you have to tip 20%? I'm just kidding. You don't. Also, the, Michael, <laughs> maybe, he, Michael's going to have to work on us versus them, too. Which, by the way, Lost, season two and three was kind of about that philosophy. But so Michael's going to have to learn to, to accept humans, because, you know, he keeps <laughs> calling them human and separating himself from the human. So maybe he needs to realize what this 
what it means. Michael needs so a, he needs a reality live. check at this point. He's, he's a little obsessed. To, he's like, yeah, it's yeah, he like definitely a, he needs to. He's like I think drugs. Janet was gonna say like I thought as soon as she opened what well, I thought was gonna happen is push him in and keep her out. Yeah. Because like she seems like she's level headed. Yeah, I thought she was gonna knock him yeah. out or something. Yeah, something was, yeah. that doesn't allow him to do this, but I don't know where it's gonna go from over here because maybe they can play it off that they're practicing for a play called Put That Thing Back Where It Came From or so help me. Oh, Monsters Inc. reference. Some of y'all got it. I watched Monsters well, Inc. Some of y'all I got it. that, but like Put that thing back where it came from, or so help me. <laughs> I don't know what he's how he sings it. But. So there's one of the normal. Maybe they'll say like, hey, we're, we're practicing for a play. I don't know. What well, how you can't explain. How can you this? explain a random door popping no, up with fiery glow around it? So it's talking about tipping. I, I know you guys like our when we spill our beef, you know, about stealing going to jail and everything. Oh shit. Uh Here one of the normies, my name who and I don't let me know if you guys do this or not. They do not tip on carry out. Do you tip on carry out? Like if you go into the restaurant and you order, you pick it up, do you leave a tip, like a dollar or two, or you leave no tip at all? Or? I have started to during the pandemic only because mm -hmm. the people were like going there and forced to work. So I started to more during the pandemic. Yeah. I would I would try to because my new philosophy on it is if if you can. Why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. If you can, then for sure. So, like for delivery, you if you can't, tip. then there's not. Yeah. It's okay. Delivery, you always tip that person. Delivery, yeah, You're because always. they that's just like. But if you physically etiquette. go, you only pay for unless food. they're gonna like yeah. show you show up two hours late, then you're like, nah, fuck you, bro. Because you technically, the chef is cooking it and they're just giving it to you. Right, but if but if the hostess any, is if, there, she has to like bag your stuff, make you sure go. you put stuff yeah. in there, make sure your order. But gets the whole tip. I'm not the normie, by the way. It's not me. Um, the tip is not going to Navi. Um, <laughs> the tip is not going to the person that's doing that. You know, it's going to the whole like they gather all the tips at the end and then they split them. Oh. So it's not that. So working in food service, you can tip. You had an excellent server. But let's say isn't that different top notch from place to place? Like some yeah, places some, split the tips and some some, some like them all. You'll I get guess, it. but it's like majority. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I've worked in food service. Ninety percent of like all the tips, like you get, you tip someone twenty dollars, yeah. and then service tips someone five. But Everybody that twenty five dollars is gonna get split yeah. between everyone. Wow. That's how it was when I. I yeah. don't know if it's. I don't know if it's different, and I've never experienced the difference which would be great but yeah no, I, I leave like at least a dollar <laughs> where did this tip thing come from because of oh i i was mentioning a yeah, lot of, one of the things that you lose points yeah. on yeah yeah no it's um don't need to be 20 percent even like on the carry out i don't always do 20 percent because it's carry out but like you know if i'm getting jersey mics and they're like i was just gonna ask you a question right there yeah that's no <laughs> i'm like nah bruh i'm sorry no i'm not <laughs> pharmacy counting your pills and you're gonna tip me for doing that no, no but you that's gotta, my goddamn job you gotta be like i'm just gonna ask you a question real quick yeah i, I, don't, I, know. Know. I don't know what the question is i, I really don't it's gonna ask you you just gonna okay you don't answer okay <laughs> like, you, you know you're I, I don't know do something do something to earn this tip yeah maybe, if i you don't really know want. that's just i find that very absurd because i personally also work in retail customer service and i don't get tipped for my job so no i'm not tipping someone that literally did their job maybe we're at, maybe our we're old fashioned they're making Nikki. a sandwich maybe just maybe our thinking is antiquated because what if it's 100 percent old-fashioned because a... these millennials are softies or <laughs> not millennials gen, gen zers, gen zers are softies oh, wow, and they think they should now. earn but the minimum wage is so up. low maybe i think the minimum wage should be higher mm-hmm but I'm tips, okay with tips that. Is like, I don't know but where this money's going. Is I don't know if it's being person, split correct. either. I don't know what's happening to this. I swear to God, I'm going to go to a car wash next. He's like, and it's just going to ask you a question. <laughs> no! no, no the machine is washing you my know, car. You know the coffee shop? No. Like, command coffee on Fall <laughs> Creek or whatever. Do they ask you a question? They, I don't like give you a, a clip where like, here you go. And it's just, I'm like, oh, wow. No, you, okay. But like coffee, you tip, you tip. Yeah, I know. They started doing it newly. I'm like, oh, shocking. I'm like, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I like this. Okay, this was fun. Let's see if they tell them the truth, guys. Bye, and everybody. Bye. See you next Sign week. Up. Bye. Hey, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of The Good Place. We'd like to give a huge shout out to our super patrons. Raga, Michelle, Sakif, Clayton, Mr. Mamas, and Joe Mags. Be sure to let us know what you thought of this episode down below and have a great day.